Summer in Chicago means baseball. Forever and for always, two teams who get together every year for bragging rights and to have a drink and to have a dog and to smell the grilled onions together all in one place. Michael Kopech with two starts since the All-Star break. The first was not good. The second he was very good on for his 19th start of the year. To the native of Palatine, Mike Talkman. He is a friend Viking and of course a Chicago area kid would lead off the Sox and Cubs first game. Oh, two is there for strike three. Michael Kopech trumpets his presence in this rivalry early. And now Nico Horner is Kopech fired. And that one flared. That's into right and it'll fall for a hit. Nico Horner dunks one in and a man aboard. One on one out. Now the switch batting Ian Happ. The one two. And that is that. So here's Belly red hot. Highest batting average for a Cub in a single month since 1901. Fourth best at 452. There goes the runner. The one two is outside. Throw to second. Too late. And a stolen base for Nico. And now a base hit. Good producer run. Swing and a miss. The slider mystified him. And Bellinger frustrated with the finish. It's Kyle Hendricks. Sinker changeup curveball. For the professor, and mostly fastballs and changeups these days. On the ground, Nico Horner collects and throws him out. One away. Swinging a bouncer back to the mound. Blocked and fielded cleanly by Hendricks and then treats it like it was routine. <laughs> that was a smash. I'm not sure he knew he had the ball for about a second and a half. And if not for Shohei Otani. And you'd be looking at a guy that would be right there for the MVP. Got him swinging and a good start for Hendricks. They go one, two, three, end of one. Kicks off the glove of Vaughn and Suzuki is safely aboard. This White Sox defense, it's been dicey. Pretty nonchalant here by, by Tim Anderson. He has time to set his feet and just make a good strong throw instead of he opts to make the off balance throw. Vaughn can't bail him out on the other end. Swanson back in the lineup. Good to have him in there. Missed about three weeks with that heel issue. In the air, left field, well struck. Way back on its way and gone. Dansby Swanson will touch them all. Number 11. And the Cubs jump out. It is 2 0 here at Guarantee Ray Field. Wells, kind of a super utility guy, doesn't have one defensive position. They like getting his bat in the lineup. Drilled in the air out towards left center. This one back on its way. Yeah! And Morrell turning around and pointing either at Mike Natley or the bench, like I told you, back to back. And it's 3 0. And the Cup fans making noise. Four ground ball outs so far in this one. That play goes one to three. The White Sox go one, two, three. We go to inning number three. And that is nine up, nine down for Kyle Hendricks. End to three. The news is good. It is three nothing. Dansby Swanson belted a long two run homer right down the left field line his first time. In the air, left field. Ben Intendi back. He's done it again. Two for two with two homers. And the Cubs take a 4 0 lead. You get two home runs, and they come in the first few innings of the ball game. How good does that feel? Oh my. First time since 2015. He's been perfect through four. He strikes is. out Robert for the second time. Strikeout number three for Kyle. Hit on the ground to third. Backhanded by Mokanda. The throw across. Offline, safe at first is Horner. Not in time. Stolen base for Nico Horner, his second of the game. So a productive out for Hap. One down, a man at third in Horner. And we'll bring up the cleanup man, Cody Bellinger. In the air, softly hit. Cole lost the catch. Nico's coming. Here's the throw to the plate. And save! Oh, baby! What a slide by Nico Horner. Got his hand in. Grandal can't believe it. Now yeah, they're going to challenge this one. Watch the left hand. Yeah, he just slid by very close. And I can see why Yaz thought he had it. Yeah. The call on the field is confirmed. 
The runner is safe. The White Sox lose their challenge. But the Sox don't have a hit yet at all, so can he provide the first one right here? Hendricks to Jimenez, and there's a line shot out in the left center for a base hit. It'll get to the wall, and Eloy trying to make his way to second, and he slides in safely. It's a leadoff double. First hit, first base runner for the White Sox. And that was scorched. And he'll take it to the bag to get Moncada. Eloy advances to third with one out. Here's Andrew Vaughn. Well, Q shot first base side. Bellinger collects it, and the Sox get their first win tonight. Jimenez scores, so the leadoff double pays off. It's now 5-1 to one Cubs. Top seven White Sox and trail the Cubs at 5-1. to one. Nico Horner puts a charge into that one. Left field. Nico having a night. Offense, defense showing the power right there. And for Horner, the home run. Well, after a, a pretty long uh, stretch where he was scuffling, he has really turned it on. Dansby Swanson having an excellent game. Two home runs and a base on balls. Three runs batted in. Line drive, base hit left field. Hat for round third. And Ian will come in to score. Nico and Dansby having a night. Dansby Swanson says, Give me all the RBIs you have. He has four tonight. It is seven to one. Anderson, a soft single to center to lead off the Sox seventh inning. And the batter is Luis Robert Jr. Through. Robert, line drive, left field side. That's fair into the corner. It goes on a hop, and that is going to be a dead ball. So the Sox won't get a run, but it is two on with nobody out. For the first time tonight, David Ross might be thinking about some activity in that bullpen. That is ball four, and the Sox have Hendricks on the ropes a little bit. Base is loaded, nobody out. Cotta 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. Moncada in the air right field. Suzuki back at the track. He brought it back in. Oh my word, what a play. Say Suzuki robs a homer. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He turns what would have been a grand slam into a sack fly. I'm with you, buddy. Hard to believe. Looped over the mound toward first base. Nobody home. Seven to three. The rally continues. David Ross out to the mound. He'll go to the bullpen. Mark Leiter Jr. will come in. It's now a four-run game as things start to get a whole lot more interesting here. Swing and a miss, and Leiter gets Berger. And the White Sox leave a couple. They do score twice at 7-3 as we head to the eighth. Alzali has been up. Cubs trying to hang on, leads seven to three, bottom of the ninth. Two men on, nobody out when we come back. And a one-two. Got him swinging. A strikeout for out number one here in the ninth. Strike three call. Fastball got him looking out number two. And the Cubs fans starting to make some noise. A sellout here tonight. And it comes to strike away. Win. You talk about coming out of the bullpen and slamming the door. My goodness, that was impressive. And a night where the Cubs did a lot of really impressive things. 